Wait a second. Before you even consider that madness, Jeff, I find this kind of thing distasteful. Hey there, everyone. What's up? And welcome back to another video on Filmtastic. Shark Tank can be a very positive experience for the excited entrepreneurs who think they have created the next big thing. Sometimes the products turn out to be a big success and sometimes big failures, leaving the investors with regrets. Here we will take a look at 10 Shark Tank deals that completely rip offs. But before we begin, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss out on anything. Alright, let's begin. Number 10. Paper Box Pilots For 25% stake and the offer and the money we got was $35,000 for 50%. Brian and Noah Cahoon appeared on Shark Tank and asked for $35,000. Paper Box Pilots sold sticker sets that could transform a plain old box into imaginary airplanes, race cars, and fire engines. O'Leary invested $35,000 in their business in exchange for 50% equity stake. The company did not make any moves forward. Most of the items seem to be out of stock while the company's social media page has been inactive since 2018. Number 9. Breathometer So that's why I created Breathometer, the world's first smartphone breathalyzer. Breathometer acted as a portable breathalyzer and it could also be plugged into the audio jack of a smartphone. All five sharks went in on the deal and offered $1 million for 30% of the company but Breathometer ended up being a flop. The FTC told that the device was very inaccurate. The company tried to overcome this issue by updating the application but when the problem could not be solved, the Breathometer was discontinued. Number 8. Sweet Balls 25% of the <laughs> James McDonald and Cole Egger asked the Sharks for $250,000 for 25% of their company. Cuban struck a deal with the owners but the owner got a lawsuit soon after the show. Egger made a non-negotiable offer to buy the ownership of the company from McDonald and McDonald sued Egger for breach of contract. Things turned worse when Sweetballs.net started redirecting to Cakeballs.com, which Egger controlled. To which in reply, McDonald asked for a restraining order. Number 7. Body Jack And what does it cost or what would you intend to sell it for? We're going to make it for right around between $20 and $30. Body Jack was invented by Jack Barringer as a machine that could help people do push-ups. Corcoran put $50,000 into the company, but the body jack ended up being a failure without any specific reason, and Barbara lost all of her $50,000. Number 6. KTAP Next up is Neil Desai, who believes his product can help save relationships. KTAP basically helped people cheat in their relationships. Even though it was odd that such a product appeared on the show, Kevin O'Leary and Damon John invested $75,000 in the company for 35% stake. The Kate app did not do well as the last Twitter update of the company was from 2013. The website is down and there have been no news articles about it since that time. Number 5. Show No Towel Watch. I'm gonna write you a check right now. Oh my god. Let's see. Sherry Eller combined a towel with a poncho and coined the term show no towel for her invention. She went to the show and asked for $50,000. Sherry was able to strike a deal with Grenner, but the partnership went sour after Grenner kicked Eller to the curb and after six years, the business came to an end. Number 4. Toy Guru all of our members obviously pay a monthly membership fee. We have plans that start at $35. The owner of Toy Guru appeared on Shark Tank to look for investors for her business. The company allowed people to rent toys for each month. Thinking this was a good deal, Cuban and O'Leary decided to invest $200,000 in exchange for 35% of the company. Within a year, the company went bust and officially closed down in 2016. Number 3. Gift Card Rescue I don't think you're worth what you think you're worth. 
Kwame Kwade asked for $100,000 for a 30% equity stake for his web-based company that bought back and sold 10% of unused gift cards in the US. Kwame struck a deal with the Sharks of $200,000 for 50% equity stake. Soon after, the company became one of the most successful companies to ever be featured on the show. However, the company got shut down in 2016. Number 2. Hikon I work on Hikon on the side, on the weekends and in the evenings. There's nothing out there like it. Hikon was an invention of firefighters that displayed great potential. When the firefighters were looking to pitch a deal, Cuban was so amazed that he made an investment of $1.25 million into the company. The deal did not work out as there were problems with the licensing of the product, and the negotiations with Cuban and the deal that was previously agreed upon fell apart and the company was unable to survive by itself. Number 1. Night Runners They look great, Mark. You can't tell you're cool. wearing them, can yeah. you? Thank no, you. no, they feel very strange. Renata and Doug Storer appeared on Shark Tank for an investment for their flashy running shoes and made a deal with Herjavik of $200,000 for 15% of their company. But the owners changed their mind and the deal did not make it through the show, but the owners did their own thing and made a great revenue, but this was one of the worst deals for Herjavik who thought he had a good deal on his hands. Not all the deals that take place on the reality show Shark Tank are able to get through, become successful and make it big. These were some of the biggest rip-offs on Shark Tank. This brings us to the end of our video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, then let us know by liking the video. Also, click on any one of the two videos on your screen for more amazing content. Stick around as we will be soon seeing you in another video. Until then, take care and goodbye.